awkward children. No kidding. Not really. Awkward. I don't feel awkward. Awkward father right now. Up here. All right, so we're back at tagging again here. So we're going to show you a bit of an up close this time. I know in our last video uh, we didn't show it very clearly exactly how we did it. So this will be more of a, a close up, I guess, of what we were doing before. But first we chased about five or six into this chute here. And now we're going to start tagging. First we need this. Isaac's going to hold them all in so they can't move. Curtis is going to scan the first animal with the RFID reader. All these users already have that. Oh. And here's the app here. It wasn't open, so he's going to have to scan it again. So you got the cursor in there? Yeah, I do. Okay. So uh, when he scans with that RFID reader, it shows up on the app. And it's hard to read, I guess, on the camera, but the second spacing there is for the alias or the uh, backup tag or secondary ID. So that's what we got to put in now and then he'll record that in by hand. So here we go with the first U. These tags are pretty large. So if you look at their ear, we prefer to put them on the back so they actually hang down like this. Then you can read it from the back and the front because it'll hang straight down. So I'll show you when I'm done tagging. Of course they don't love being tagged but it's very fast probably doesn't hurt them that bad just like getting your own ears pierced and so as you can see this just hangs down like that like that and then the back will also hang down the same way so so we do all five of them then we let them all run out and put the next five in and we just keep on going Just grabbing a bale here for some evening chores. It's just starting to freeze up here. It's supposed to get down to minus, feel like minus 10 tonight. Just about done this row of bales here. It's always a pain we got the bale buster hooked up on the back so when we're stuck between rows like this we gotta back the thing out of here the whole way so drop the bale in the driveway and he's got to flip the tractor around so that he can pick it up with the bale buster Beautiful sunset tonight. I think we're actually going to see some sun in the next few days, which will be great because it's just been so cloudy and wet and muddy, all that stuff. So it'd be nice to have a nice sunny day for a change. Kind of brighten everyone's uh, outlook on life right now. I think that's needed this time of the year. So he's just pulling around here. Perfect. Loading. Okay. 
sure all the wraps off. Get just some live action here. It's gonna be extremely noisy, so. Nothing makes a sheep happier than some fresh feed. Under there, knock you over. There you go, Pat. So, as you can see, looking here, that leaves it in nice rows on either side, right in front of them. It's a big time saver. It's not as good as a TMR mixer. I don't know if any of you know what that is. TMR stands for total mix ration. It's something where you would fill up a hopper similar to that except it would be completely enclosed and you'd mix the whole ration in there and feed it you'd put your corn in there put your mineral in there put your hay in there and whatever else you think you would like to feed and i think that's the route we will go someday but uh, this is definitely the cheaper version of that and that's what we got to work with right now so Anyways, thanks so much for watching this video. We'll continue to keep posting what uh, goes on around here and keep you up to date. And uh, have a wonderful day.